All right, I have been waiting practically all day for this to get my iPad Pro and smart keyboard. Literally waiting all day. It's what now, 6.36 p.m. And I am just super excited, if you couldn't tell, and I just want to get right into it. So let's just um, open this up. Uh, let me get my knife here. So this is, you know, the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Um, you know, before this, I couldn't really justify getting an iPad or um, even an iPad Pro, mainly because, well, up until now, it's essentially just been an oversized tablet, or, sorry, oversized iPhone. That doesn't really suit my needs. And I know it suits a lot of other people's needs, but not really mine, so it wasn't very justifiable. 10.5 inch, though, I think is a sweet spot. Um, you can see you got 64 gigabytes, 10.5 Wi-Fi, space gray model, and they really gave it a spec bump, which really helped me make the decision to buy it. Um, Ink ProMotion display, 120 hertz, improves the latency of the Apple Pencil, which is really good because this will be replacing my uh, Surface Pro 3, which I have right here, and it's pen. A great device, um, superb device, but it had kind of... Stopped working and I wanted to, take a, wanted to take a lot of notes with it, so yeah, it wasn't really the best at note taking. And I wasn't even gonna buy an iPad Pro this year, like I said, until they announced uh, the 10.5 version, which I think again is a sweet spot and increased specs and the 120 hertz ProMotion display. It was kind of you know, it kind of a no brainer at that point. A bit of an expensive purchase, but since I am a college student, I got a $20 discount, which isn't much, but um, hey, I'll take that over. No discount. I usually prefer actually getting, uh, getting refurbished or used models, but since this is such a new device, there really wasn't any available, and I kind of need this right away before I start my summer courses. Um, this will also be replacing my iPad mini first generation, which I have. It is working extremely slow, though, so um, I don't use it, really, and I can actually do a comparison. Uh, once I open this up, it's here somewhere. Gosh, right here. So, you know, quick comparison. I can show that more later. All right, let's just get this over. I'm, I'm just super excited to finally open this up. Um, oh, I didn't cut this plastic. I was like, what is going on? Uh, give me one second. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to tear the plastic off. I was trying to keep it all nice over the box, but it's really not worth it. At this point, all right, here we go. You can set that aside here. Give it a little bit of a shake. Uh, kind of at an awkward angle, but that's okay. Come on, man. We need this for the video. Uh, nice little piece of plastic there still. Whoops. Pull that off. All right, here we go. Wow, okay. So, finally, can't get to open this up. Uh, take a quick look at oh my god this feels so nice i'm put on the side for a second you can see in here get the charger it's uh looped around kind of nicely here's a little cutout if you can see uh for the camera because there is kind of a, a camera uh, hump on it which personally doesn't bother me because if an improved camera means a lot more to me if i need to scan documents and stuff so i don't mind too much um here's the power adapter put that back this will just have your documentation, Apple stickers, that kind of stuff that I don't really want to open. Let's keep that. I like to keep the box pretty much the same as when I first get my products. Sorry, it's kind of a quick unboxing, but like I said, I have been waiting all day. All right, here it is. Now, this is super, super nice feeling. Very solid, really light, lighter than I thought. So let's just pull the plastic off. Oh, yes. Get that nice and close camera. And there's a long story with my uh, Apple Pencil. That was supposed to be here today. It actually was here. I got it from Best Buy because they were selling it for $5 less. But by the time I already placed the order, just yesterday, in fact, Apple announced they were selling refurbished ones for $85. Bucks. So I had to scoop that up instead. So I returned the Best Buy one and the Apple Pencil, which should be here tomorrow. But I don't think I'll be able to do an unboxing for that one. But oh my gosh, this looks incredible. The bezels, in, in camera it's really hard to see, but in real life, 
it looks really, really nice. And we can flip this on the back. It really is, it, it's so much nicer than what, what you'd expect. I really think you have to go to an Apple store to really appreciate, or go to a Best Buy even to appreciate its uh, beauty. All right, so let's uh, pull out the iPad mini. Here it is. I loved it. I think it was the perfect iPad because, you know, for content consumption, really, it's all I was doing with my iPad. But with the Pro, hopefully that will change. Um, at the time, my phone was smaller, so this was the perfect size. It wasn't too big. Um, but now that I do most of my content consumption on my phone anyway, everyone kind of does that, um, unless you really need a bigger screen, it, there really was no reason for me to buy an iPad until they increased the specs and basically made it a better product productivity product. Especially with iOS 11 coming, with a uh, dock like in Mac OS. Um, sorry, I keep showing the mini instead of the actual thing. <laughs> with a dock coming with Mac OS, with a dock coming like you have in Mac OS. Sorry, I'm just super excited. Um, in iOS 11, you are getting a dock, you're getting a file manager, you're getting a lot of more pro features. And like I said, the Apple Pencil, I tried it out before purchasing it with the 120 hertz, is incredible. Uh, much better than the Surface Pro 3 that I have now. Um, which obviously isn't a fair comparison because the Surface is an older device. Um, but it's I didn't want to get another Surface because I felt like a full-blown operating system was kind of overkill. I kind of used it as my um, laptop, and I also have a MacBook Pro 15-inch with Retina display. It's a long story why that happened. It's a 2015 model, why I have two laptops, but I do. So I basically considered my my... MacBook Pro 2015 inch to be my sort of desktop like experience because of how powerful that thing is um, And then I treated my surface like my laptop but now That'll change Because I have the iPad Pro to take its place with a smart keyboard here kind of overpriced, you know a lot of this Set me back. Um, sorry. I'm just looking at the documentation um Set me back quite a bit, but um, hopefully it will all be worth it. Not cheap. I'm almost nearing a thousand dollars actually with the pencil and the keyboard from Apple, and just the base model the iPad Pro 10.5. So you know, well, I, it better be it better be worth the money because, especially as a college student, it's kind of hard to justify large purchases these days. But I haven't made a large purchase in a while, so I kind of I had the money saved up, which was good. It's not, it's not easy having to uh, budget your money when you're a college student, especially when you have all these new devices coming out. You're not really sure which one will be the best for you. I mean, like the Surface Pro 3 that I had was also kind of an expensive device, but actually really expensive. It was more expensive than this, but you know, at the time, it was really necessary. Uh, it still would be used, not by me, but it will be used by someone else, which is nice. I'm not just keeping it in a box and not letting anyone use it. So here's a smart keyboard. Um, I'm really curious to see what this feels like. Oh, I love the packaging on this. I don't really, I haven't seen many unboxings online of the 10.5 inch. So let's get this open. Maybe I just haven't seen the right ones. And I really wish Apple Pencil was here too, but like I said, it's not, I uh, won't be here till tomorrow. Uh, it, it's a refurbished Apple Pencil in case I didn't make that clear because is cheaper and like I said I do prefer getting refurbished products okay so here it is documentation kind of looks like it's from I'm just gonna get that to focus a little it's from a like an Apple watch box um, and let's uh, open this up smart keyboard it just gives you instructions I don't think you get Apple stickers do you get Apple stickers with accessories I'm not really sure but I'm not really sure if I got them with the Apple watch either so we'll see it kind of does seem like I'm going full Apple here but um I, I I do I did really love the uh, the surface I do have to say and I, I and I heard that the new pen especially in the new Surface Pro which people are kind of just calling the Surface Pro Five because that's essentially what it is but I did hear that it was really really good and you have different tips that are mimicking different pen soul feels so I don't know but I just felt like this is kind of more along the lines of what I need right now I already did did the surface. Um, so I thought I'd give it a change. All right, wow, this cover feels incredible. It's very light, which is what I was kind of going for the whole iPad Pro thing was portability, which is why I didn't get a third-party keyboard. Um, I'm not even sure actually if there are any third-party keyboards out at the moment for the 10.5 version at least. I know for the 12.9 and 9.7 there are, 
slash were, because I don't think people make them better than 9.7 anymore. Um, but yeah, this is the 10.5 version from Apple, and I don't even know, oh, okay, this is how you, oh, this is how you open it, sorry. So you go like this, um, you have a nice piece of paper covering the keyboard, wow, thank you, Apple, for wasting more plastic, slash paper, we don't really need that, but it's still a nice touch. Um, the, I've tried out the keyboard, the keyboard is okay, it's a, not a full-size keyboard, but, you know, it, it is what it is. So, um, oh my god, let's just, let's, let's connect this already. This smart connector is right here. The, the latency, the reduced latency is what really sold me on this new iPad. So it's only, latency basically means lag in case you're unfamiliar, but it basically, it's only 20 milli, milliseconds now, which is, you know, really good. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, gotta use some shape skills trigonometry geometry more of geometry than trig all right yeah i think it's in all the way um the keyboard is flapping up like this it's just really strange i'm not sure if i'm doing it wrong but um maybe it'll just settle with time yeah i'm not really sure but i can just take this off for now because that's really annoying um Maybe I will have to go to the third-party one and return this if it keeps doing that. But it feels so compact and light with the smart cover. I really didn't want to sacrifice the portability. Um, and I really don't want to get the back scratch either when I'm carrying it in my bag. Otherwise, If it's not in my bag, I don't think I would scratch it. I'm usually really careful with my products. But um, if I am, then I think I am going to get a sleeve for it. A really thin one. All right, so let's just boot this up then. Since um, it's just me in the background. Since the keyboard wasn't really working that well. Okay, there we go. And my, like, if you've seen another, any other iPad Pro videos, they will have told you already that it's kind of hard to visualize the 120 hertz in person. But um, I'm still going to show you because it is incredible. You, I think you really do have to go to like a Best Buy or an Apple store to really see the full effect. All right, so um, let's swipe over. What did it say before in English before? Did it say press home button, I think? Yeah. Okay, so we'll click um, English, of course. I don't know how far I'll get up in the setup um, because I do want to, let me just type this in really quick. I'm not even using the smart cover hot. Huh? That's kind of funny. Smart keyboard, I mean. Maybe it's indicative of the product. I guess that's my early review for the smart keyboard. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my early review. Okay, so this whole setup process, I think, will take a while. And so I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Actually, I did want to do... Yeah, you can en enable that. I did want to do a quick comparison with the um, Surface Pro 3, because I feel like that is... You know, it's not necessarily a fair comparison, but it's the switch that I've made. So I just wanted to show you why. And, you know, I really do love the Surface Pro. I was on board with the Surface RT. I mean, I never had it, but I always wanted it because um, it's such a it's such an amazing product. I always envisioned that when I was a kid that you can just separate, you know, your keyboard from your laptop and you get like a touch screen. You can use it separately. And so when Microsoft actually did it, it was <laughs> really cool to see come to life. But yeah, so I, this thing is a lot heavier than obviously the iPad Pro. Um, this is the Surface Pro 3, by the way, in case I didn't mention that, but I think I did. And this is the actually the Surface Pro 4 type cover because they actually works with the Surface Pro 3. Um, the keys and the trackpad are super nice. And have a Logitech, a uh, cheap Logitech mouse, wireless mouse connected to it. That's why that's there. But um, what was really is what was giving me a little bit of issues now is this is the Surface Pen. And I, like I said, I know it's been improved a ton, but the Surface Pro 3 pen at least um, is good, but it's not that good and there's a lot of lag when you write um and it was kind of getting starting to get a little bit noticeable for me and uh since i had the opportunity luckily i was fortunate enough to have enough money saved up to purchase something like the ipad pro i decided to just go for it otherwise i obviously wouldn't have been able to and i wouldn't have um also the palm rejection on the surface pro 3 was not working that great i use one note mainly for my notes actually only for my notes but with the iPad Pro, that might change. I might switch notability because I've heard some really good things about that. But I can't really show you now, but when I would write, so if I started here, the cursor would move all the way down here. 
And that just got kind of frustrating when I'm trying to take quick notes in class. So I stopped using it in class for that very reason. But that's about it. That's going to wrap up, I think, this video. I know it's gone kind of long, kind of rambly, all over the place. I'm really sorry about that, but I was just super <laughs> excited. I've been waiting all day for this, um, for the FedEx guy, and he didn't come till 6 p.m. at night. And I've been waiting for this since I ordered it on Sunday. So I'm really excited. I want to get this all set up. I want to show it to my family because I know they're very interested in this too. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.